Wherever you go, there you are. This is the name of an amazing book that I love by Jon Kabat-Zinn. And it's about mindfulness. And I want to share with you, mindfulness means paying attention in a particular way, on purpose, in the present moment, non-judgmentally, having greater awareness and being present to the unfolding reality. I believe mindfulness is just such a powerful practice that we really all could practice and use more in our world today. So I, I would say I technically found mindfulness as a small child. I have shared about my uh, severe fatal asthma incidences as a child and spending so much time simply trying to breathe was, um, was simply a mindfulness practice. I didn't have that terminology at the time, but being able to be in the moment and all I could really focus on was breathing. And I've said that my greatest pain has brought me my greatest peace, and that's really the breath. I had trouble breathing as a child, and now I get to teach people to breathe, kids, adults, everyone. And being present in the moment is such a powerful practice. So I'd love for you to breathe with me. And when we breathe and when we're mindful and present in the present moment, we're able to actually let go of deeper subconscious thoughts that are often associated with, you know, judgments or finding likes or dislikes or kind of that, those polarization things, those projections, those expectations, and simply being present in the moment with our breath, with our bodies, we can tune into what we're feeling, what we're hearing, and, and move forward into our lives more consciously. So I, I believe that these are powerful practices that can help us find more peace within ourselves and peace in the world. Because I think that's where, where it begins. One of my favorite teachers, Thich Nhat Hanh, who's a Zen Buddhist monk, says, peace in oneself, peace in the world. And I really believe that if more of us practice and find that peace within ourselves, we can have peace in our world. So I'm wondering if you would be willing to just be open, to take 30 seconds, maybe a minute, to practice with me. And essentially, sometimes this can be a little scary um, to be really still and notice there may be things showing up that you don't like. So just breathe with them. Let them come and go, letting go of those judgments about them. So you can, again, do this with your eyes open or closed or half closed. I'm finding that I'm wanting to spend more time just being present with the eyes open and, and observing being mindful of my environment around me, so it's your choice. So just breathing nice and deep, thinking of moving the breath through the entire torso. Take a nice deep breath in. And breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. So keep breathing. Nice and slow and calm, breathing in and out of the nose. Just observe. Notice what you hear. Maybe thoughts arise, just let them come and go like the clouds passing through the sky. Notice the distractions in your mind. Think of them like just cars passing by on the street. You don't pay attention to them. You let them come and go. Maybe curling the outsides of your lips up in a smile. Just being present. Let's, let's close this time together with three breaths. And as we breathe these last three breaths together, I want you to think of inhaling anything that 
doesn't feel good. And as you exhale, let it out and replace it with the opposite of a good. So maybe you inhale the fear and you exhale the fear and let love come in. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, maybe anxiety. Exhale, let that anxiety go, bring in peace. Inhale, uncomfortableness. And as you exhale, let that uncomfortableness go and let calm arise. Thank you for joining me. Place your hands either on your heart or together. This can be a, an amazing way that we can greet each other. Uh, namaste is seeing the divine in each other, the light in each other. So I thank you for your time. Namaste.